Hello all, this is JC3 from Is This Real? Do you want to start your own podcast? Then look no further than Buzzsprout.com. We here at Green Hour Media use Buzzsprout, and we love the team at Buzzsprout. They are all about helping you succeed. Buzzsprout gets your show listed in every major podcast platform. Follow the link in our show notes to let Buzzsprout know that we sent you. It gets you a $20 paid Amazon gift card if you sign up with a paid plan and help support our show. Join us and over 100,000 podcasters already using Buzzsprout.com to get your message out to the world. From the Keith Vincicala Studios in Patterson, New Jersey, Green Arrow Media proudly presents Is This Real? Tonight, we're going to tackle the Havana Syndrome. What is it? Now your host, JC3. Welcome, 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 everybody, to another fantastic episode of Is This Real? And this week, we are finally back in the booth after a little short hiatus. Um, and this week, we're talking about the Havana Syndrome mystery, as Dad said in the beginning. In the booth, like we always have, we have Dad in the corner. Dad, say hello to everybody. Let me out of the corner. Hello, everyone. No, we keep Baby in the corner in this bo- uh, booth. Tonight, we also have Nelson in the booth with us, joining back for a, uh, from a couple episodes He's ago. in the other corner. I got actual decks now. You got a desk now, Nelson. Good for you. You're graduating, buddy. Uh, the, the dick of the desk is back with us tonight. Say hello, Anthony. Happy Hitler's Death Day, everyone. Die and burn, you Nazi scum. I feel good. Oh, my God. Da, 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 da. And this episode is a special episode because Anthony... And Joey, you didn't you, you announce yourself. I get announced by Dad. Well, that's true. Yes, as the chair squeaks. <laughs> Dad. Was, I thought it was like, what the fuck was that? That was his chair. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so, do you, Jim Anthony. Craig? Yes. You know what we're talking about tonight. I do know what we're talking about tonight because, well, let's just say like this. Things got a little bit um, confused as far as what this week's topic was. So we are discussing the Havana Syndrome. Now, my podcast mates, the Havana Syndrome started in 2016, end of 2016, beginning of 2017, and... This is a weird sickness that affected people in the U.S. Embassy, and only the U.S. Embassy, apparently, allegedly, in Havana, Cuba. This was a sickness that had long-term migraines, a problem with distant vision, well, let me ask you, Fred, recur- you say- recurring right. vertigo, nosebleeds, head, like, it was just something that, like... You would hear, like, what's that thing uh, where you could hear something in your ear, but no, tinnitus. And yes. it affected people in the U.S. Embassy in Havana, Cuba. Okay. Just the U.S. Embassy. Just the U.S. Embassy. Now, was it a right. sickness or was it a syndrome? Well, that's the thing. It's it's Yes. Because a sickness, there would be some kind of, you know, they would determine what it is. A syndrome is something that they can't figure out. The United States Department of State. Referred to the events as an unexpected health incident. Kind of vague. <laughs> an unexpected health incident. And that's that what sounds C- like something that George Carlin would say. That's exactly right. The Central Intuitive Agency. Okay. The CIA director, William Burns, he said he has called them attacks. That's the weird fucked up thing. The, the head of the CIA said that this was an attack on the U.S. Embassy in Havana, Cuba. Well, I- Again, you're dealing with the U.S. government here, so. Uh, In a 2019 retrospective study, it said 40 diplomats in Cuba um, were affected by this. But here's the thing. It doesn't doesn't affect, like, your motor skills or your ability to, like, think and make cognitive decisions. It only affected, like, it made them extremely sick. Like they had MRIs on well, these people. Let, and- let me. I'm going to read you off a list of, of the of the symptoms here. Yeah, he um, hearing sudden loud noises, pain in one or both ears, feeling of pressure or vi- vibrations in the head, tinnitus, visual problems, vertigo, nausea, 
cognitive difficulties, sleep deprivation, insomnia, fatigue, and dizziness. So my question is, Joshua, if you're listening, do you have the Havana Havana syndrome? It's very pleasant. I mean, he went to Puerto Rico, not Cuba, but you know what? Close enough. And here's the weird shit. It said that this ex- this phenomenon lasted to these people who were affected anywhere from 20 I seconds. I got to be nice. Like, I really, I got to be nice. I don't want to be nice, but I got to be nice. It lasted anywhere from 20 seconds to a half an hour. And it didn't matter if it there was. Sounds like your sex life. Well, if it's lasting a half an hour, never mind. <laughs> But here's the other thing. It didn't affect everybody at the same time. Like, we could have been in the room, the four of us. One or two of us might have all of a sudden, like, what the fuck's that noise? I have a headache on the ground with a, in pain. And everyone else is going, what the fuck's happening? So it sounds like uh, uh, it, it sounds like another thing. Not form, but how, how COVID affects. It's like one after the other after the other. Right. But all right. Well, with, with COVID, it, at the height of COVID with no vaccines, if the four of us in a room and one of us goes positive, we're all leaving that room COVID positive. Because we're talking and it's but being it spread around. Differently, though. It does, but I'm saying like you're all going to test positive. The people who were also in the rooms or family members, guests in the, the the hotel room next door or whatever, they were like, I have no idea what's going on and I feel completely fine. And they didn't test for any of those symptoms. Or they didn't suffer for any of those symptoms. Wow. Huh. I got a question. Is there a date for this? Right now, it is saying that in August of 2017, reports began surfacing that American and Canadian diplomatic personnel in Cuba experienced this. Oh, so Canada experienced this? Well, too? there were people stationed at the U.S. Embassy, and you know, Canadians as well, at the U.S. Embassy in Cuba. So that was when the reports started so coming in. Actually, it's also it's also reported in China too. The, it, it's there's there's other spots around the world as well, Washington, China. So can you call that the Havana syndrome if it's in China? Well, I don't think I think it's because it started there. Like that's when they first like got this idea that like, hey, something weird is happening. These people all are saying that these are the ah, things ah. that are affecting them and my they don't know why. Is, my question is does that make it racist? Just like calling the coronavirus China virus, does that make it racist? Well, no. If you say it's the Wuhan virus, then it's not racist because it started in Wuhan. This is sorry. This is not a virus, though. This is some weird thing. And the weird part of it is, no one knows what the fuck it is. Well, I have something right here. It's from a website called Thank you. Uh, Spyscape.com. Okay. I don't know how credible this website is. I, it sounds to me, just for the Spyscape, sounds like it's a guy who lives in his mom's basement but with long hair and wears a tinfoil hat. He goes, seven bizarre, uh, <laughs> what is it? Seven bizarre facts, quote unquote, about the uh, mysterious illness. He goes, again, it, when the, that word could be there, it's not a fact then. That's true. Uh, so he goes, like a pot, plot twist from a spy thriller, the U.S. National Academies found that the most plausible explanation is that the U.S. is being attacked by directed pulse, pulsed radio frequency energy. Microwave In other energy. words, microwave yes. attacks. Yeah. Right, but, it, but how do you target certain individuals with microwave attacks and that it's not broad? Like my, I don't think microwave attacks at this point well, can affect, directed. huh? He said it's directed. Directed at the building, but then it's only hitting these certain people, and it's not affecting everyone. Well, could, could it be that that these people are more vulnerable to microwave okay, frequency? I, got, I, I, I don't know. Quite, I got. I guess I, I know you guys. I don't know how many of you guys here have ever seen the uh, the History Channel show, um, the uh, the Secrets of uh, Skinwalker Ranch. No, okay. I don't. I, I no. have. I've watched a couple. Okay. Of do you? Do you? Now you. You've seen it. Remember the guy Thomas? That's he's a. He's like the ranch manager. Yeah. He had to be hospitalized. Yeah. Because the thing in the back of his. He head. got burned. Yeah. Well, he. This no, guy, not burned. I'm sorry. It looked like he was conehead. That's what right. It was. There was a couple of times when stuff goes on on the ranch. He was hospitalized once, um, for just that reason. They couldn't figure out what it was. It was like it was, oh, oh, whatever. Uh, microwave or whatever was there, and they have high concentrations of, of um, uh, not microwave. What do you call that? It's a radiation. So, it could it be a possibility that if this is something to do with the U.S. government and UFO wise? Well, think about this. That it's Hispanic skinwalkers. What? Uh, Hispanic skinwalkers. That would be El skinwalkers, wouldn't it? <laughs> El skinwalker. Orale. No. Uh, that that's oh my god. Uh, number Boy, two. Is, right, that well, was okay, well, the, and fucking as eight far, minutes. As far as the microwave thing, as far as the microwave thing, um, 
there's a physicist Peter Zimmerman who who he thought this the, the microwave hypothesis can be thrown out the window because there's no evidence and this is his words um I'm sorry, sorry, not not Peter Zimmerman, Cheryl Roffer. She's a, for, a former chemist at the Los Alamos National Laboratory. So that there's no microwaves, no microwave experts on the NAS committee and said no evidence has been offered that such a weapon has been developed by any nation. Um, well, hold on. What? So I have from this website right here, and it's an actual government website, the National Library of Medicine, uh... There was an attack during the Cold War in the U.S. Embassy in Moscow. Called the Moscow Signal, right? Yes. Yes. From 1953 to 1976, beams of microwaves of 2.5 to 4 gigahertz were aimed at the U.S. Embassy building in Moscow. An extensive study uh, investigated in health of embassy staff and the families comparing Moscow embassy staff with staff in other Eastern European U.S. embassies. The resulting large report has never been published in peer-reviewed so what is the common thread between all of this? Let me see if you guys are paying attention. Russia? No. No, it's an attack on U.S. officials. Communism. Specifically. Oh. But also, I mean, no. Cito's got the, on the, on the thing. It's, it's remnants from the Cold War. Mm-hmm. You know, Russia, Cuba, Cuba Missile Crisis. Wait, com- John F. Kennedy says Cuba. Cuba. The, the, the common denominator is the U.S. Embassy. Yeah. The U.S. Embassy in, in, in China. Oh, in Canada. The US, hold on. The U.S. Embassy here. The U.S. Embassy there. Now it's the 1950s and the U.S. Embassy there. Okay. The U.S., if you remember correctly, back in 1962, I believe it was. I don't remember because I wasn't alive. Well, I, I was very small, but I do remember. Okay. Because alive. I'm a history buff. Okay. What they had was an incident called the Northwoods Incident. And what that was was where we wanted to invade Cuba. But we just couldn't go and invade Cuba because if you did, you'd look stupid. And it would, you know. So we had to drum up a reason to go in there and, and invade Cuba. So uh, um, uh, Lemnitzer, which was, I believe he was the general or one of the generals at the time. Under Kennedy? Under Kennedy. And you can look this up on the Nor- under the Northwood document. They wanted to play, paint U.S. planes, okay, and they wanted to attack them and paint, paint the planes to look like Cubans. And to attack our, you know, planes. Similar to what Hitler did with the Reichstag. Right. So yeah. basically create false, false flags. And this is written down. Right, right, right. So, so we'd well, have a, Dad, can you explain to a, the people listening what a false flag is? All right, a false is? flag is something when the government wants you to believe something, they make it happen. And they blame it on somebody else. Yeah, very when simple. Hitler burned down the Reichstag, and then he said he blamed it on. Well, he dressed the guys in Polish. Right. He dressed them in Polish, Polish uniforms, guys and blamed. So look, these these Polish people are doing it, right. and that was his pretext to go into Poland. Yes. So they, this guy Lemnitzer wanted us to go and invade Cuba, but we couldn't just do it. So we had to make it look like Cuba was attacking the United States. Right. They were gonna they were gonna attack the colleges down in Miami. They were going to attack our planes, our boats, all using our web, our aircraft painted like Cubans. Now. What I don't trust with the U.S. government... Hold, hold on, hold on. Is that the same thing that they were talking about in the JFK movie when they were helping the, 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 the Cuban um, nationalists? I don't remember that those, part in that movie. You remember when, when they were they had the guns, they were moving guns around? No, 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 no. That's that a completely was, different thing? Okay, what that was was we were going we to try to invade... Okay, and, kill, and kill oh, no. Castro, right? Okay. Castro was untouchable, all right? They tried poisoning him. They tried everything, couldn't get to him. What happened in that situation was we had the CIA was ready to go into Cuba because under um, the former president, Eisenhower, and vice president, they had men ready to go into Cuba, and they were working with the CIA and the Cuban nationals to stockpile weapons to go back into Cuba, to invade Cuba. Kennedy got wind of that and said, absolutely not, we're not doing it, sent the CIA and the FBI in to break up the camps, and they didn't really want to do it because the CIA was actually involved in it. But because they, the president said you have to do it, they did it. So that's one of the reasons why people say that Kennedy was dangerous to society because he didn't go along with the establishment. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Kennedy's like a perfect storm. Like, so he got murked, and it's like eighteen different organizations can take blame. Right, and, and that's that's a whole other. That's a whole other story, right? But it's just weird to how get that back happened. to this is. You know, it seems to me that this right here is a false flag of some sort. 
that's happening on foreign soil. Not just foreign soil. Uh, it happened in, in, in America too. 2019, a I White mean, House technically official. Technically, isn't the U.S. Embassy American soil? Technically, it is, I mean. but That's like I mean. in a different country. But like in the United States, there's an incident in the Washington, D.C. area in 2019. A White House official reported experiencing debilitating symptoms while walking your dog in a Virginia suburb of Washington. Uh, and it was re- released publicly in 2020. Um, and then. Were those no, symptoms close to what these guys yep. were experiencing? And then in November of 2020, a similar incident was reported on the eclipse, ellipse, um, the ellipse of the White House, the the, the lawn, the the 52 acre park south of the White House, right? Okay. Um, it happened there too. Both incidents were similar to those who have reported to struck dozens of U.S. personnel overseas, including CIA and State Department personnel. So we've had incidents happen in Washington, D.C., the U.S. Embassy in China, Cuba, Hanoi, Vietnam. Hold on. I got some more right here, too. And I'm going to read this one little thing, and then we'll go to our little break here. Sure. Um, so it says, what began with a dozen complaints in Havana in 2016 rose to about 200 reports by 2022. So yeah. it's still going on today. Yes. Including the CIA staff in far-flung places. CIA officer Mark Palomaropoulos, wow, I said that correctly, Wow. awoke in a Moscow hotel room with severe vertigo unable to, and unable to stand. Other CIA officers complain of uh, attacks in London and at Beth. Uzbekistan? Uzbekistan. There you go. Mystery uh, elements struck elements struck uh, U.S. soldiers in Syria. Canadian embassy staff also complained of concussion-like syndromes, uh, symptoms while in Havana, while with one describing himself as a zombie. And several incidents were reported in the U.S., including a national security officer staffer who d- described collapsing at the White House gates, convinced he was going to die. Right. Yeah. I got a question, but I'll wait till after the break. All, All right, right, let's take so, a break. So we'll be right back with our short little break. We'll be back after a quick break. Hey, Ryan. Hi, this is Sarah Palin. Ryan Donald Trump Jr. Hogs to win, see you. Hey, everybody, I want y'all to check out a fellow Marines podcast. My name is Ted Nugent, and I got a call from my buddy Ryan F. Samuels, and he wants me to tell you that he's a working hard, playing all-American son of a who is celebrating God, family, country. country. Welcome to the Ryan Samuels Show, one of the top political podcasts in the United States, where we have a healthy distrust for government and mainstream media. The Ryan Samuels Show is a raw, unfiltered look at American politics. If you're looking for a dining experience like no other in the North Jersey area, Sopranos Pizza and Restaurant is your place. Located at 400 Minnesota Road in Toto, New Jersey, Sopranos offers pizza, sandwiches, Italian delights such as specialty pizzas, seafood, soup, salad, burgers, sides, and much, much more. Free delivery on all orders, more convenient ordering online. Download the app on Google Play or in the Apple Store and track your order. Or if you prefer, just stop by and pick it up. Either way, Sopranos Pizza and Ristorante in Totowa always satisfies. Pleasant staff, exceptional atmosphere, and great food. Open 10 to 10 every day. Visit their website at www.sopranospizzeriamenu.com or phone 973-256-7115. That's 973-256-7115. Sopranos Pizza. Give it a try. And we are back. Don't mind the little crackling noises in the background. That's everyone enjoying their Smarties, not yes. sponsored. Uh, so, <laughs> Dad, you, you had a uh, question before we left. Yeah, has any, other re- has any other country reported attacks on their people? Uh, Canada. Well, y- no, on their own people. On their own people? I don't know. Well, like, Here's the issue. Here's the problem with it, right? A lot of the people who are... And this is why I guess a lot of the cases have, like... Let me put it like this. The U.S. government has not released the number of affected people, but they're saying that by the end of May 2021, there was about 130 cases, and that rose to about 200 by mid-September. The problem is a lot of the people, because it's a medical issue, they are having a hard time determining who's truly affected because you bump into the wall of, like, you know, uh, patient-doctor confidentiality type stuff. 
So it's hard to sit there and say, oh, yeah, this person definitely felt it or this person didn't feel it and get an exact number. Is there any long-term effects to this thing? We don't know. It's only four years old. Yeah. Right. So we're still at the point where we're not sure. There it's is still going on. It's still going on. There is um, a few government officials. Um, hold on one second, like because I just saw it on my page. All right, as you're reading that, I'll read this little. Hold on, hold on. I got it right here. I got it right here. Bitch. Um, some of the okay. There is an unidentified diplomat who now is in need of a hearing aid. Um, I there blow was, my head off. There's that. Like, like, there's some things that are just like, like people have been suffering right along. Like every once in a while, it says some of the people get like this spout of dizziness out of nowhere. That like they can't attribute it to anything else. Well, here's a, a possible explanation. So. Canadian scientists have focused on possible chemical causes. So dozens of Canadian embassy staff and their families also became ill in Havana, leading Canadian researchers to, to suggest Havana syndrome might be linked to chemical uses in pesticides, insecticides, and nerve gases. Mm -hmm. Cuba launched an aggressive campaign against mosquitoes in 2016 to stop the Zika virus, spraying in and around offices and diplomatic residencies. Uh, separately, the U.S. academies looked at chemical pollutants along with other possible causes, including an infectious disease, but decided the explanations didn't add up. Yeah, like here's here's one possible explanation. They said that the okay, so we had we talked about you just brought the pesticides, which I I, I guess could make sense. What because you're in a exotic place, you know, Cuba. China, whatever. I don't know. Have you ever been? I know we haven't been out of the country. Have you ever been Puerto Rico to, around that area? Puerto Rico, yeah. How big are the bugs down there? Are uh, you serious right now? I, that's a valid point. Yeah, Even though you. currently in Puerto Rico there's not much of a bug thing, there's a lot of iguanas. The, right? It's random, but when it comes the to the iguanas, insects, did it? <laughs> Wait, so you like the lizard people? <laughs> son of a bitch! David Ike was right. <laughs> No, what I'm saying is because they, you know they, they yeah. you tell them Puerto Rico doesn't have mosquitoes. No, no, there's obviously bugs. I when what? I what? What the fuck does that got to do with the fucking shit? Not we're talking, talking about? about the insect. I got something for he's he's not a ro he's he's circling the rim, but he's not down the drain yet. Well, please yeah. explain. I thought you were going somewhere it. completely I know, different I know. with that. See, tell me, answer the question because then I'll, I'll I'll explain. I'll try to get to what the heart of Joey's trying to talk about. So when I my experience with Puerto Rico, it wasn't. I, there was a lot of bug spray involved, so like we didn't really see much of it. But at some point, passing through the you know foresty area of Puerto Rico, I did see a lot of insects around there. There was one of the possible explanations is crickets. Bastards. That the crickets chirp was at a frequency, like a, a, a frequency wave that was so high. That it it affected certain people in a in a negative way, which is true. You, you can weaponize crickets. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's I mean, think about it. Okay, we all. Well, I don't know if Daddy, but I, I know it's the short-tailed cricket. Does anybody remember the Fresh Prince episode where Uncle Phil went crazy because there was a cricket in the house? That's different though. That cricket was making noise and he couldn't find it. This and then he a, stepped out it and then and then Jeffrey said that poor cricket <laughs> didn't know what was coming for him. And then and then Will slapped him. Oh. Uh, that's cold. No, the but the saying that the, 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 the vibration of the cricket um could have affected people differently. Um listen, is it possible that a way like a radio frequency can fuck you up yes it absolutely is yeah. i mean just think about like think of an opera singer who can sing a, a, a note that's so loud it can shatter glass right that's an actual thing that has happened that is a sound that affects something to the point of breaking can a cricket chirp do that to a human i don't think it can thousands of crickets Yes, thousands of crickets, but still, like, can they vibrate or, or well, whatever? So let's that let's thing? search this up. But what is the? They're saying that no, that's not the case. It did. That's not. But it was a possible. Wait, 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 it was a possible idea. It it still is actually very possible because the way sound travels. Sure. Sound doesn't travel in a linear direction. Just because it's coming from a small animal, as small as a cricket, that doesn't mean the sound waves are going to be as small. Sound waves are ever enlarging until it hits a barrier. Right. So, it's not too plausible because. We all know frequencies can affect 
creatures in different ways. Dogs can listen to hear higher frequencies, and there are frequencies used that can possibly make people sick. So, the whole cricket thing? Is it left field? Yes. Could I argue it? Yes. Am I going to? Maybe. They said that they, they, they analyzed a lot of recordings <laughs> around that time, and they heard cricket noises. They, they were listening for ambient noises from traffic cameras, from people t- f- just recording footage, and they said that they heard something very similar to the Jamaican field cricket. Uh, but it's such a weird little theory that I, I, I don't, I, I can't get behind the cricket. Well, I don't thing. know as much as sick, but, you know, I mean, if the, you sit there. If you feel Jamaica, I'm on, I'm on. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> if, oh, you sit th- if you sit there and and it, it gets annoying, <laughs> like it could be, like I understand yeah, it would be very annoying, your, but it's not, not going to make you sick. Exactly. Your oh. temperament is changing, not your physiology. Like I'm not going to throw up and, and be unable to move it vertically. Mean, some people hold can hold get on. really pissed off that they do make themselves hold on, hold on, sick. Hold on, hold on. I just. What if it's both pesticides and the crickets? They were tr- they're going after the wrong bug. <sighs> yeah, but it did, again, I'm gonna ask this question: Does anybody know for sure if the American if we're the only ones that were targeted? Do we know that? Targeted is a hard word to think because you yeah. don't know if it's an actual all right, attack. Was there any, all right, so, so say you're like, only gonna turn around and say if it was attack if it's something well, like a radio. Apparently, the 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 leader of the the head of the CIA said it was an attack. So attack from what? That's the thing we don't know. Well, my question is this: If it was Watch crickets, this. wait a minute, hold on. Okay. If it was no. crickets, the, the, the then crickets how come the crickets attacking. only affected the U.S. citizens? We have anti-American crickets. Well, it is. Cuba. Just wondering. I mean, we had we had pro Castro crickets. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are these, are these crickets I heard traveling them. incognito with little blindfolds on over to fucking Russia? See, in the sixties, they were hanging on Dealey Plaza, passing out pamphlets. They were, they were they were all overheard going cricket cricket. <laughs> they were getting together trying to form a coup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rest in peace, Bill Hicks. <laughs> no, uh, okay, so like, but but on a serious note, um, like it, it's really, it's such a weird fucking thing, man. But you have to it sit is. there. And you have to, you have to like like for for the director of the CIA to come out and say, well, it was an attack. Okay, for you to understand what an uh, if it's an attack, you have to have something where attack. where it's coming from. You're not just gonna say, um, there you go. okay, better. You're but, not gonna sit there and say, oh, we got attacked from nothing. No, I know that. At that point, it's not an attack. So either one, you're not you're not telling, you're not giving the full story, mm-hmm. or you're trying to just sit there and and. Fuel fire of, of anti-Americanism or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I get you. I get you. Like you, can, you can't like sit there and say it's an attack again. And, and, and we're gonna sit, say there, and say something. I know Anthony shits his brick on every week. It could be something from aliens. Yeah, yeah. We can always just blame fucking aliens too. We could though. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't. That didn't come out of my mic. That came out of C Dog's mic. <laughs> No, my my lips were closed. Wait, I hold on, Dad. Anything Dad, can be blamed Dad, on the fucking wait, wait, aliens. I want this. I want this right now. Okay, God. you and I didn't go to college. These two are going to college. Let's watch this shit. <laughs> oh yeah, please come on, huh? Anything Let's see be, this three hundred thousand dollars in action. Anything can be blamed on fucking aliens. It's the last refuge for somebody who has no idea what they're talking about. It's the last possible place. What does this blame the fucking alien? It's the same thing with God. When I have nowhere else to sit there. In water. You have nowhere else. To, you I'm just no gonna say, argument. people. I'm turning me and Mike Dad's mic off. You know, we're gonna be fine just sitting here. You have no other argument. We're just gonna say it's God who did it, and we'll. That's what the cause is. But what's your argument right now? There. That's the thing. I don't have an argument. Okay. And there's nothing to sit there and say that this is aliens, except for the fact that there's nothing to sit there and say it's fucking aliens. Well, if we actually look at other evidence based off other events in actual history that causes that may be blamed on aliens, some events are. Radioactive waves, Until you get microwave to- energy, that was done. <laughs> Go see to. You Go currently have to. no evidence Go to argue to. this. Until you get to the point Go see where to. you have class of, you can classify these events throughout history and say they are definite alien attacks. I and honestly hope that say, Joe Biden is listening to this. Because at this point, if he th- he's thinking of canceling student debt and this is what we're getting out of it, <laughs> that motherfucker's going to charge you pricks double. 
if you get to the point where you can sit there and go, these are definite. No, Joe alien Biden will attacks. turn and go, uh, d- 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 student, 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 There's student one goats. One. We're gonna cancel student goats. Man. Okay, but that can also go the same thing back towards you. If you sit there and rely on facts of science that you might not even fully know yourself, unless you do ex- further extensive research, not standard research, extensive research, sure. look at peer-reviewed articles by other scientists, you can't really decide on your f- fact, the facts on yourself I and say this is more logical. I agree with that. My point is... Mic drop, bitch! My point is, when you get to a point when you have looked at all of these very possible theories and then someone goes, it could be aliens too... I just I, I tend to want to pat them on the head and go, it sure can, buddy. Let's get back to these other theories. Like, there's nothing here that says aliens, and there's nothing here that says it's not well, aliens. Okay, hold on. It is just a blanket so, excuse theory. Okay, hold on, hold on. So, as the host, I'm going to sit here and say that we are going to, I'm going to say one thing, and then when we get back, we will continue this debate. Okay, so... <laughs> As you look into possible alien abductions, sure. And if you look at possible alien abductions, these symptoms that are in the Havana syndrome have rear, reared its head. That's true. Like I've said, a lot of, of of possible alien abduction yeah. syndromes. Okay. So, with okay. that said, we're gonna go to break real quick, and we're gonna continue with this debate when we get you back. You fucking prick. Hello, hola, konnichiwa. I have a very important question for you. Is this real? That's the motto of our weekly podcast. We question everything from the paranormal to conspiracies, even the extraterrestrials. There's no topic we won't dive into. So tune in and listen to our show every Sunday at 8 p.m. And remember, folks, question everything. And we are back with Debating with the Intellectuals. No. Okay, you. so we're back, and we're talking about aliens. And I know over the past couple of weeks, as Anthony has stepped in for our beloved Mr. West and our beloved Roadblock, he has sat there and argued to a fault that about aliens. And I listened to every single one, and I'm here to counter that. And then Sito enters, just as smart as Anthony, probably a little bit smarter. Not probably. Dang. Ouch. <laughs> Well, fuck me. Here we go. And we have round one. Then we have round two now. So, do we have anything more well, we before have, we start getting more into the debate about aliens? Well, I was going to say, as far as, I mean, the only other uh, possible theory is a psychogenetic origin. Like, all of a sudden, like, these people just started feeling this way. Neurologists and other physicians have kind of ruled this out. Because there's so many different symptoms, and to say that that like it that would just blanket everything is not really responsible to do. So they've kind of ruled that out. Although there well, is, yeah, there was a book written about this saying that it's still a very possible real. Well, what, the, what thing. The, if that's if this is the same thing that I was reading about psychological symptoms? It says these uh, the the signature feature of shell shock is like the con. con Concussion like syndrome mm-hmm. that Havana, but I'm saying like shell shocked. Uh, From what though? It's like yeah, like 2016 and, and the CIA. Like I'm not saying like like it was a bad year, but it's not that bad. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, no. But it also goes back to the whole point that right now we only see it as Americans and American embassies only being targeted. Right. If it was a more widespread thing, especially in a new in a neurological uh, standpoint. You would definitely see much more cases throughout the whole world. Yep. Exactly. Oh, yeah, I completely agree with you. Yeah, the book I was talking about is called Havana Syndrome, Mass Psychogenetic Illness, and the Real Story Behind the Embassy Mystery and Hysteria, and they used, published two years ago. They use the old term, shell-shocked. Yeah. But, uh, it's um, not post-traumatic stress disorder. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Hmm. All right, so, I mean, it, like I said, is there, there, there's not as much. Like, it, we really covered mostly of what it could be. Right. And then, and well, then I mean, it could be anything. The, we well, don't well, know. well, that's what I'm saying. We we covered, as you like to say, as we're you know, you, me, and Dad have argued over the past couple of weeks, the logical explanations. Right. I go quote, for unquote. what is probably the most thing. Anything is probable. Anything is probable. <laughs> but as far as like what is most likely, uh, anything's most likely. As well. No, 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 no. Round two. Not that anything is most likely, but you have like. 
you know, the chances of it happening to be something that is, what? I would I would hold take on. microwave attack. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Over aliens, Dad. What did I say two weeks ago? Anthony lives in this, which is a box, right? And he doesn't think outside of it. I, I can see where the. Anthony- what and you live in a circle because it's the only shape that fits you. <laughs> I can see Anthony's point that when all else fails, just it's blame aliens. Green men. But what I what I lose it with Anthony is the fact that he shuts it out completely. Mm-hmm. I pl- I will sit there and go, yes, that's always a possible theory. Yo, yes, remember that lighthouse episode? Yes. I do. You know, you completely knocked out anything mythological. I did. I, cause, Completely. Cause, okay, mythological beasts don't fucking exist, but that's another. That's a different podcast. Augusta uh, event. Same thing. Now you got. Now you got the. the now, <laughs> now, How many yetis do we have in captivity that we've studied, understand the physiology? No, I'm looking at one right now. No, no, no. We don't have any yetis, but we're gonna blame the fucking yetis. We yeah. don't have any fucking Chewbacca. Chewbacca's. Well, Things of myth I, I don't count. Now, aliens are not something of myth because we have evidence that supports it. We have the United States government coming out and saying in the last two not years... A, not aliens, UFOs. UFO. Well, what do you think? Well, what is the, hold on, hold on. What is the new... Because there is a new term. There's a new term? For UFOs. I have no idea. They've classified a new term for UFOs because... they the, the, the I for, uh, It's UFA... It, it's UF something. There is a uh, a new term for UFOs from uh, uh, the government now that they're not using actual UAPs. UAPs, unidentified aerial phenomenon. Yeah, that's Which, what they're classifying these events as. That oh, what the government really? phenomenon. Yeah, I don't. Phenomenon. I don't like that. I don't. I think unidentified flying object makes much more sense because a phenomenon could be something that's. Like a natural but phenomenon. Look what they're doing, how they're using the words. I know, this, this it's smear. a phenomenon. So that's a phenomenon. It could be anything. Exactly. Instead of saying uh, identified flying object, which would tell you that it's identified, it's unidentified, it's flying, and it's an object. It's a real thing. Right. But my point is, I cannot sit there and I can, I can believe, and I do believe that there's aliens out there somewhere. I just I think logically on that scale the universe is too fucking big for for all of life to exist on this rock and ever growing. Exactly. So I think that the possibility of aliens in my opinion are 100%. However, for them to come down to the United States to, the, to this planet and strategically use microwave weapons on government officials of only the United States is like it drops down to almost zero point zero one percent. That's okay. what I'm saying. Okay, 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 okay. So, you're thinking about is as directly alien contact with the United States Embassy, but you know situations happen, excavations happen all around the world, especially excavations in Cuba. So possible ex- government excavation where find some kind of alien tech that could possibly emit microwave waves. <clears throat> To your point, Cito, I, and I'm, I'm gonna hold on. Hold I'm on. not gonna argue that. Like, and to bring it back to Dad's point, also before is the is the the for the uh, the, the the fucking thing in Nevada, the Skinwalker Utah. Ranch, Utah. or Utah, right. the Skinwalker Ranch. Space Utah. So yes. Space Utah. <laughs> so the the one guy that Dad was talking about. So what was happening in that in 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 Utah on that ranch is they were digging, and every time they digged, this Dog. guy, shut up. Every time they dug, this guy came up with, you know, not feeling well. And literally, you could look it up. He had like a, a it looked like something was growing out of his head. Like a, like a tumor? Yeah, it looked like a Actually, tumor. it was under the skin, yeah. between the scalp and the skin in the back of his head. That's fucking weird. And now, a couple and, of, this last season, they were doing something where he just like, you just saw him. He just flipped and they had to take him off the ranch. Yeah, okay. and and in the area they were digging at, they found underground. How how deep underground was it? Well, the the one, uh, the, the one, one that was about as big as a football field. Okay, in the in the in the middle of the ranch is this giant green thing, green, green field. Mm-hmm. Under the green field, they found a football size a football field si- size object, three to five feet down. They've tried to drill in the one section, and the drill bit literally hit this thing and could not penetrate it. They were going to attempt... And that's the same place that the guy got sick from. Right, right, right. They were going to attempt to dig this, but when any anytime something happens on this ranch, when somebody disturbs the earth or digs, it doesn't happen right away. 
I mean, it literally people get sick, Earth starts to shake, and they were they were literally they they took out a a drone, a hundred thousand dollar drone, and it wouldn't it ran out of battery on that one spot. Took yeah. it back to the front of the front gate, and it was working again. So whatever it was, whatever microwave or whatever technology that they're using had stopped it in its tracks. And to make matters worse, when they were digging in, there's a triangle part that they were digging in, you were watching the telephone poles on the ranch going like this, shaking. Yeah. And they couldn't understand why. I, I'm not going to sit here and, and, and be naive, that naive to say that, like, I'll, I'll back your point up, Sita, that maybe somebody was digging something or maybe there was some sort of test with some unidentified super weapon or secret weapon developed in Area 51, something like that. I will not sit here and be that naive and go, that doesn't happen. Because I know it happens. Like, the the the, the SR-71 Blackbird at the time was one of the most advanced, the most advanced fucking plane on the planet. Yep. And when they tested it in Nevada, people thought they were looking at a UFO. It wasn't a UFO. They were testing a brand new spy plane. Right. So for that to so taking that logic, I can apply that to something like a weapon or a superconductor or some weird scientific Area 51 space weapon. I'll even say it may have come from outer space. I'm not going I will never discredit completely the Roswell incident or other things that could have come from outer space that we're using that technology now. But that's the last thing I'm going to put the blame on when I'm looking at things that I don't understand, especially when those things don't have any merit to the problem I'm looking at. I think but we, yet crickets do. No, I I, describe, I don't understand the cricket thing either. I'm like, that, that's a dumb theory to yeah, me. Cricket but someone put it out there. I think, and I think this is going to sound a little crazy, but I, I honestly believe that we should, somebody should look into the, when they build the building, the U.S. embassies, how they're building them. And what they're building, like in other words, if we send um, equipment and stuff to these U.S. embassies, chairs, desks, phones, computers, who you know, what could be in these these items that's causing this? Could it be a correlation that the stuff that we're staffing these these buildings with has a connection? Has mm -hmm. anybody looked at that? So I mean, and I, and I guess it's just uh, grasping at things. But you know what? When, when you're story, trying to figure anything, there's right, nothing else. Right. With a story like this, you got to look at everything before stuff happens. And and I think that's a. There could have been a Cuban restaurant in the Havana Embassy building that was serving bad Maduros that day. It could be fucking anything. But that wouldn't happen in the China one. Well, it wouldn't happen in the one in Russia. It wouldn't happen right. in the one in Exactly. In, in the, and the crickets aren't traveling to China. I that's that true. I do have a question. Have they tested radioactivity? I have not come anything. I have. I didn't see anything about yeah. radioactivity I either. But I don't know why they would test radioactivity. Well, because in, in all these places, you know what I mean. Well, as as of recently, I actually learned there's actually, and is the reason why I learned is actually happening here in New Jersey. Um, there was a high school here in New Jersey that um, people started developing brain cancer. I'm not sure if you guys heard of that. Yes, I have. And the cause of yes, that I have. is actually a stone called radon. Radon is a natural stone that produces radioactivity. That yep. sounds like a Pokemon. Thank you. I choose you, radon. But radon is a stone. Yes, it some is. Some kind of rock that produces radioactivity. So it could be some Fuck, kind of byproduct. I'm now. Of something that they're using. Yeah. Yeah. It, it could be. I'm not. I will not but, sit but there and say thing is, no. Okay. Yes. I'm. That that could be, but the, this this stone could be well. Again, if you're gonna take it that way, this could be in China. It could be in in, in, yes. in you know, yeah, sure. all four or all five different places that this has happened. Sure, it, it could, could be, be everywhere. If it's something that we're sta if it's something that we're building these embassies with, okay, oh, and we're I sending the materials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In other words, the, the materials okay. that we're sending. Well, you know, I don't think is there a link use... somewhere. I, there's, I would say it's something close to the dad, but you don't you don't use radon. In building material, as far as I know, but it's weird because when you buy a house, you do have a radon testing kit. Okay, yeah. the radon gas, too. right? For radon gas, right. but this is a rock instead, which is a lot more concentrated. You know, and fuck well, you. What up else even could more. be possible that they're using? The radon could be could something, be. but some maybe if it's not radon, what else could they be using yep. in the computers? You know, don't forget these aren't computers like you get here. These, these are, are like, high. These are high tech 
level computers. Yep. What is in those computers that could possibly be causing this? Or it could be nothing, but it's just a good, it's just enough of the theory yeah. like whole everything thing. else okay. is. You know? So if it, if it comes down to something as simple as that, now granted, nobody has tested that theory, at least that we haven't. Not, read, that, I've, not that I've read, right? right. Yeah. If it comes down to something as simple as that, then our country is fucked. When it comes to central intelligence, because if they couldn't figure that out, and our four assholes in Jersey on a podcast <laughs> that six people listen to figured it out, then you know what? Our country's central intelligence is fucked. Yeah, well, you know what? We have Biden at our front gate in ten minutes. Like we like to offer you a position. <laughs> it's gonna be great. You're all gonna get matching jerseys. All right, just sit down. Okay. And okay. Then he so falls down our steps. <laughs> There was one step, Biden. It's not even a step. It's more like a lip. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I do have, actually, going based off of what Dad said with the computers, another possible thing I could be thinking about is blue light and enhancing the blue light that's given off from the computers itself. Okay, that sounds like a beer. Explain. Yeah, so, yeah. He, I, I know what he's going with. So I don't. Cell phones, computers, TVs release a, t- release a type of energy, mm-hmm. similar to radiation, but not to the same degree. Mm-hmm. So, I could under, I could actually really argue the fact if they if they want to do something to people in the United States Embassy, a computer would be the best way to do it because of the fact they can build these custom computers and somehow amplify the blue light that's given off. Yes, on my phone, I don't have it anymore, but I have an Android um, <laughs> note. See. One of the, the last note that was made, I think, is twenty one. <laughs> Before they were in the update. And they changed a lot of the settings. There was a setting in here that you could turn on and off the the blue light. So basically, it, it kind of just looked like a filter went over my screen. And in terms of... Is that the same thing as like night mode and day mode? No, no, no. no. no, no, no. It, in terms of... Think of it like this. When you look at a screen, like a light bulb, when you're in Home Depot, you have like the daylight and you have cool light. And the cool light always has like a bluish yeah. hue to it. And the daylight is more of a reddish hue. That's what's going on with monitors, phones, screens. And when you turn that blue light on, that cooler hue takes over the screen. What it's doing... Well, yeah, that, that's like, well, for the, for the, uh, um, the iPhones, it's, it's called the day or night mode. It's day mode or night mode. Where with the night mode, you, you have more of a, like, uh, like a summer filter on it. We'll be back after a quick break. Hello, nerds. Come listen to the History Nerds United podcast, and let's make history fun again. We interview today's best authors, whether they are established Pulitzer Prize winners or someone debuting their first book. Let us show you that history is not a boring class you took in high school, but a place where the best stories come from. And we don't just cover history. We also love to chat about true crime, biographies, memoirs, and so much more. So head on over to History Nerds United, and let us introduce you to your new favorite book and learn the story behind the story. History. Yes and no. Yeah, I mean, yeah, according I, to this is from WebMD. Um, sorry. Uh, Evidence is growing that blue light can help memory, raise mood, improve memory scan. Blah 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 blah. Um, but too much at night could harm your health. How it could hurt? Every color in the light spectrum has a different wavelength and energy level. Blue light has shorter wavelengths and higher energy than other colors. Some research shows a link between eye damage and shortwave blue light wavelengths between 415 and 455 nanometers. Most of, the light, all wear glasses. most of the light from LEDs in smartphones, TVs, and tablets use somewhere between 400 and 900, no, 490 nanometers. Um, in large amounts, high energy light, like from the sun, ultraviolet rays, and blue light can... Uh, raise your risk of eye disease. So the more blue light you have, it can fuck with you. But the less blue light you have, you can also benefit from it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if someone is find a way to manipulate the length of wavelength of blue light and tar- can target only certain people, especially ones of the you know diplomats and people who work for the United States government, well. 
You know what I mean? You know, the question that, is now who? That, now that or I'm, whoever's hold on, supplying us is Hold on. Now that up. I'm thinking, didn't we have, in 2016, a giant Russian invasion? Of? Uh, of, of uh, uh, not invasion, but, like, uh, we had a problem with the Russians, like, being involved in our systems. Russians are in our systems from everywhere, from our electric grid to our military to... Um, our elections to everything. They're, they're, the attacks that we are getting from the Russians. Wait, do we have any downloads in Russia? On not right now. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. If it's the Russian you. people are listening to this, Russian people don't want their government either. So, okay. But if Putin's listening to this, well, fuck you, you scumbag. All right. The thing here is, if if the, the Russians, is, is the Russian Paris government is involved is in, in, Paris in New Jersey. I'm just saying. You know, they're <laughs> spying and stuff. Is and it's getting worse as we go along because, again, in this country, what we have now is we don't have the leadership with the balls to stop this, or at least to try to. There was stop it completely. What there was a sus- a suspicious thing. Twenty fourteen NSA reported uh, that Russia used a microwave weapon to target a person's living quarters, causing nervous system, nervous nervous system damage. The the only issue I have with the microwave stuff is they're not like um, microwaves travel in waves. It's like blankets. Mm -hmm. It's not like a a sniper where if I want my microwave gun to attack you, I can hit you. Yeah, no, I have the same issue with it. If they're going to use a microwave energy, it would affect everyone. Everybody, yes. So when you sit there and say, oh, the Havana attack affected this many people and then it affected this many people here this may be, like we do have downloads in russia in september 21 a cia officer traveling with the chief william burns reported symptoms in india so it's like if he's traveling with him not only would he feel it burns would feel it the guy in the cars would feel it the guy sitting in the car next door to him would feel it Right. It would be more blanketed. And to your point, and to Cito's point, I know this is a little off topic, but I've I've long believed that on 9-11, microwave waves were used to take down those towers because the way it came down. Okay. When they, they came down in such a way that every, when, when things are pulverized like that, mm. there's a lot of energy. You have to have a lot of energy to pulverize. Because if it came down the way they tried to fake it and they tried to tell us it, you would have had chunks of shit all over the place. The building would have leaned to the left. They had nothing like that. Yeah, I know. It's I do believe this was a controlled itself. implosion. However, I do believe that the pulverization of the of the concrete has everything to do with a micro a microwave uh, weapon, or some sort of sonic weapon, some sort of sonic gotcha. weapon. I there's no doubt in my mind. Can I prove it? No. Just like they can't prove their theory either. Sure. Well, we're going to uh, I guess go to our. You know, our yeah. closing. Yeah, no, fine. no breaks. No breaks? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're yeah. going to go to our closing, I guess, arguments you would. Before we close, can I just read something? Have fun. Real quick. Uh, Get this, off of me. Sorry. This year, this is the la- the latest thing that I've found in regards to the Havana Syndrome. Was an article written two days ago. Right, April 29, 2022. That was yesterday. Oh, so it was yesterday. Uh, by the intel, this is off of nymag.com. But um, Congress last year passed the Havana Act, a bill that, with other legislation, will provide tens of millions of dollars for treatment and compensation for victims of the Havana Syndrome. And in the coming weeks, the White House must decide on the types of injuries that will qualify for that payment. So although we don't know what exactly happened, we don't know if somebody coordinated and targeted this and is responsible for it. We don't know anything about it other than these people were sick. Congress passed this act that's going to put money in their pockets to cover their medical expenses. Well, to be honest with you, Anthony, normally I would say this is the typical way of the government tries to solve a problem by throwing money at it. Yeah. And, you know, hope in hopes it'll go away. In a situation like that, I don't know if these people suffered, what the suffering was as far as, um, you know, what the, the effects, like you said, it was only a couple of years ago, so we don't know. However, with a situation like this, if, there, if the 
if it turns out that they are sick because of this and it's long term, you know, it continues to carry on. It was then. Yeah, the government has to step in and say, you know what, we are going to compensate you. Not so much compensate you, but we're going to take care of you. Well, yeah, I agree. We're going to give you the money that you might have lost. We're going to give you uh, for pain and suffering, whatever. I have a theory, but I'm going to get to that when it's my turn. We'll start off with Sita. Sita, what do you think? What What is what is your opinion on this? And Uh-oh. So I'm going to say this only out of spite towards you, Anthony. Love you, Sita. <laughs> Love you too, but Russian made partners with aliens. Whoa. <laughs> if okay. that's the case, there better be microwave weapons in the fucking Ukraine. They would have been able to defeat Ukraine in two hours. Okay. Serious theory? Serious theory. <clears throat> so, the blue light theory, if it is done by the United States, I, with what's going on and how blue light works, I could see it happening. Or, the more plausible, it could be radon, stuff like that, just natural... Radio, like radioactive material. There's ways you can go through this. I don't believe it's crickets. <laughs> really? <laughs> like, seriously, if it's crickets, man, United States, we're lacking. We could weaponize crickets, but we're lacking on that. Yo, imagine we weaponize crickets. That shit's terrifying. That's some plague shit. All right, so, Anthony? I uh, See... First of all, Joe, I want to thank you for not being specific with the show topic, which led me down this rabbit hole of finding this. You're very welcome. <laughs> I try to do my best. Next week. <laughs> you know, fuck fuck scheduling. You know? I, I don't know what the fuck to make of this other than the fact that people were sick and they were centralized in places near the embassy or where political people work in other countries. Those are the only things that I can take away from this as what, what, like... What, what, what was that word? What? The what people? Political people? Uh, you, you didn't say it like that. You said the political people. Oh, sorry. Political people. I have it's a cut. political people. I got a cut there. in you my lip. That. I have a cut in my lip, so I'm, it's uh, a little pain. I'm sorry. So my point I'm is sorry. you have U.S. ambassadors who were affected by this, and some of them allegedly have long-term effects. That we definitely know for sure. Right. As far as every anything else, it's like sky's the limit, including your fucking aliens. Thank you, because it could be possible. Sky is the limit of what what it could have been, <laughs> how it went down, and we don't know what the. That's the well, I think Anthony, the scariest part is we don't know what the long term effects are. The sky, you say the sky is the limit. The sky is Fuck where aliens yourself. come from. That's true. That's true. Or the ocean. He's got the you. ocean could be possible too. Yo, imagine. Yeah, yeah. It's the Atlanteans. Puerto I know. Rican. I know what it is. It's the fucking Atlanteans. It's Namor. It's fucking sea. It's the fucking seahorses and stingrays. Right. Yeah. They use they. It's the whales off the coast. Remember, because Cuba's in the middle of the ocean. Well, it's the fucking whales okay. coming out there. They use they okay. use subsonic wait, fucking wait. waves I to make actually, the U.S. people sick. I get I, it. I, 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 Actually, I could argue the whales. I'm channeling my uncle right now with your fucking <laughs> whales. Dad, what's your opinion? <laughs> it's Shamu off the fucking coast with Castro. I don't... Um, oh, scoop. Uh, the only thing Shamu. I can tell you... The only thing I can tell you is the jury, t for me, is still out. Like I said before, I want to know... I want to connect all, the, all the, uh, the dots and cross all the T's on this one. I want to see what we were doing what we were supplying them with how we were supplying them how we were building these buildings is there any common link that to me is the most plausible thing i also want to just uh, not to stop you just caught something in my head you had your turn sorry i also want to see because not the, the names haven't been revealed yet who are these fuckers who were affected is there any link between those people specifically yeah that's, oh, that's, it, it, that's, that's possible you know, true, you know what i mean wow. well see that that's that's one thing that I was going to piggyback off of you, and the, the theory that, that I've come up with now listening that the government is now going to pay these people, uh, you know, tens of millions of dollars to help them through whatever the fuck they're going through, is that what if it's us just testing w testing weapons yeah. on our own people and just well, paying them why, all? That's why I brought in the, the yeah. uh, Northwoods document, and not so much testing on our own. That wasn't to basically... Uh, but it see, and, and it would be, get, you know. and and the way, and it could be us testing on our own people and where these specific locations are: Cuba, Russia, 
China to paint it look like they were the India, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know these these places where the, uh, Americanism is not as high, right? You can make it look. Oh, look, look! It happened in those countries. Yeah, and you know the government does it all the time. If they want you to be an enemy, like I said, the, the government will. Even though stuff with Cuba has kind of like died over the last five years, uh, yeah, it yeah. has. But there's certain things that Cuba needs to do if they want to get back in the good grace of the United States. Yeah. And having the first black president visit them doesn't mean jack shit to me. You want me? To, you, want, you want me to take Cuba seriously? I could. They could do one thing for me. All right, build I Disneyland. Want, no, bring back Joanne Chesmar. Okay, stop housing the cop killer. She killed a cop in this country, and she, she fled to fucking Cuba. And now we have to go down there and pretend, like, when Obama went down there, oh, the history. Fuck you. You should have said, I'm not getting on a fucking plane landing in your country. You want me to come and visit you? I want her in cuffs at the airport. Okay, let's show, let's, you want to talk? Let's talk. But he didn't, because he was too busy about his own fucking, his own legacy. Do we have any downloads in Cuba? Uh, oh, that, you know, I don't give a fuck on. about the downloads. You got to be truthful. No, we don't go. Okay, good. Oh, we have one guitar, mind. though. No, hola. <laughs> well, anyway. No, hola. Okay. <clears throat> Let's move on here. Come on. I, I do have one final thing. Actually, now, it reminded me of, an, of a somewhat older movie. Actually, I think it came out around 2014, 20, between that earlier time. That just made me feel really old, by the way. <laughs> it was an older movie. It came out like 2015. <laughs> when I say older, I put a like, fucking gun to my head now. Thank you. You know what? You know what really made me feel old? 2018 was four years ago. Shut What's up. your fucking point seat, though? <laughs> so, there, I forgot the exact title, but it was like the Zelko Project or something like that. And it was a movie about a company, and it was taking place in, like, South America. But something was released into the building. Building was locked down. And all employees in that building were forced to kill each other to the oh, top. Oh, I know which one you're talking I forgot the actor that was in it. Oh, it was a big actor at the time. Well, at the time. Oh. But you know which movie I'm talking about, right? Yeah, and and the, yeah, they had to they had to kill each other. Fuck. And it was like a climb to the top. It kind of just that just really just brought it up to like this point right now, like you know, testing out some kind of psycho like neurological thing on the Belco experiment. The Belco, Belco experiment. Who was in that movie? Uh, that was close. Sorry, it was 2016. Uh, it was 26. Whatever. The it same. Was. It was uh, written by James Gunn, so I don't think I saw this. But now I'm like, okay, I gotta check this out. John 16 though. Yeah, John Gallagher, Tony Benn, John C. McGinley. Sean um, yeah, Sean Gunn, John Brennan. I don't see anybody. Well, who is it? Who, John Gallagher Jr. I think is the person I'm thinking. Of. Well, there's another movie that came out that was very similar to and this. Of course, Michael Rooker was in it. Yeah. There's a movie that came out very similar to this. I think it had Jason Bateman in it, and that was a big like office building type of thing. That was office party. Yeah, the same same premise except no, it was wasn't. fun. This was people dying, but yeah. No. Office meets Battle Royale. I point check this being, out. point being, I can kind of see like the same thing being applied. That that you know that's my new theory. It's possibly you know just testing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You sure. can sit there and say, these people are, you know, the U.S. government is testing on its own civilians in enemy countries. Mm. Mm. It's, it's plausible den- uh, deni- what? deniability. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, question. I don't have to get off the topic. You are. Uh, I am. Aliens. Is this the season five finale tonight? No, it is not. We it have is one not. more episode. One more. Okay. okay. Which, right. you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it right here, and I'm going to go off with a bang. And it's something I just thought about right now. We're not going to do, because we don't have the two people who are really uh, right. uh, gunning for that episode, who actually brought the episode. Well, I think Josh said to be back in two weeks. Well, this is next week. Oh, that's right. Okay. Uh, so, so our season five finale is going to be, um, what is the uh, the mystery of what is the, the weather control system? Harp. <gasps> harp. I would like to talk about harp. Oh, oh let's do harp. yes, let's do harp. Okay, definitely. And the theory of and the theories about harp, it's a mystery. Yeah, and people still don't believe in it, even though it's an actual program. Yeah. All right, harp it is. Yeah, definitely. and we'll sit there and listen to harp. So harp will be our season five finale, and then at the end of next week's episode, stay tuned because we will reveal what season six is going to be about. Sure. Once we get it figured out, I can't wait till we get to season seven. What's season seven? Season seven. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, season seven is going to be good because it's going to be a lot of hauntings. Yeah, we figured out season uh, seven. Yeah. We don't have no idea what season six is about. No, we what do know season six. We do. I yeah. thought we did know about season yeah. Yes, Hold on, did. did I skip something about season seven? I swear. It's been three weeks since we had this meeting. Do a we, lot has happened. Do we have any downloads in Antarctica? Anyway. He's not going to be here next week, all right? <laughs> next week, I'm going to bring up aliens. <laughs> Harpin aliens? <laughs> Well, if you actually look at well, it, save it for the fucking episode. <laughs> we do, we have a thing on on like Roswell. Does that mean Anthony can't talk? I don't know. <laughs> I said in this episode that I support the theories of Roswell. Okay. Black. Anywho, thank you guys for joining. Everybody, say goodbye to our people. Adios. Bye, everyone. Bye, our people. And we will see you next week on our season finale episode about Harp. Remember, know we had our own people. What? I didn't even know we had our own people. Okay, cool. Shout out to that Twitter follower. Yeah, shout out to the Twitter follower who uh, from Brazil, who uh, 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 our first Twitter would, comment. Like, Love the, the support. Guy's fucking name. I mean, seriously. I don't know his name, but thank well, you. We, will have we are terrible week. people, by the way. We are terrible people. We know who. Love you the are. support, though. Uh, hey, you're the only person. Love the support, though. So we will see you next week for our season finale. Remember, everybody, question everything. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night, Good night everyone. Konnichiwa, bitches. It's Ryu West speaking. If you want to find out more about the Is This Real podcast, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash isthisrealpc or on Twitter at isthisrealpc or on Instagram at isthisrealpodcast, all one word. 